Let's now turn our attention to the showed hive functionality. Again, I'm going to the assets area and into the library in order to find this show hide library item. I drag that onto the page where I'd like it. And as you've seen me do previously, we're going to detach this from the original in order to make that editable. So the basic components are that you've got an area where you can put some preemptive text and take it out, it's up to you. I'll just put some dummy text in. Oh, I don't want that to be in a heading format, so I better change that to paragraph format. Fine. And the button itself, I'll come back to that button in a moment. And then this area here. Now this area that's bordered by the, I guess that's turquoise colour, um, top and bottom stripe, is actually the hidden area that will become revealed once the student presses the button. So this is where you put your hidden text. Okay. Back to the button. You'll notice at the moment it says show me how and then a pipe symbol, that sort of upward line, hide this info. So this is the two bits of text that the button is going to display. I'm going to save this and show you in the browser so that you can make better sense of that. You notice at the moment the button reads show me how. When I click that it toggles to the second part of that string hide this info. So that's handy to know. Let's go back with that in mind and make a few adjustments. So in fact Maybe what I'm going to display in this area is a video. So maybe maybe it's show me a video and then the pipe and then hide this video. Then in this area here I better actually put a video. So let me go over to my browser. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to go to a video. I'm going to get the embed code. Copy that. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to paste that in using this quick paste feature over here. Tickety boo. Done. So let's now save and preview that in the browser and see what changes that has enabled. Okay. So here's the page. Now the button reads show me a video. I click that, the video displays, and the text now reads, hide this video. Excellent. There's a few other little interesting twists in this tale, should you wish to. You could put these hide video items inside other items. Now what I mean by that, let's imagine that up here, in fact, that I had a reading exercise. So first of all, I might actually pull out this reading library item and place it there. And again, I detach that from the original and I can put in my instructions to students. Again, I'm just going to put some dummy text in. Then I might have a further reading, for instance, that I want them to perform. So inside this reading box, I'm going to now place one of these show hide boxes. Drop that in, detach from original. I'm going to change the button text to say further reading. Well, maybe for consistency I'll make that bold. And I can put the description here if I need to. In this case I don't, so I'm just going to leave the button there. And then this is where I'd put the further reading information, whatever that might be. So again, I'll just for now put some dummy text in. Save that. Go back to the browser. Have a little look. So now you'll notice that this further reading is in essence inside the reading box. Click on that and um, there is the expanded text and this left sorry right hand uh, stripe that denotes that we're still in the reading box extends to include the hidden information so it, it makes it clear that that's a component of 
the box that it's included in. And then as we scroll down the page to our original button, that's still there. This reads, if you remember, show me a video and it still works. So you can have multiple reading boxes um, on any one page and the thing continues to work.